Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a need for a captain's chair. I've got an idea for how to make it in code blocks, so let's get cracking. Friends, of course, the first step is to visit Tinkercad and switch to code blocks. We are going to create a brand new code block. So when you click on create new code block, you need to also click on new design. When this opens, we are going to change the name. This is going to be a captain's chair. And of course, I always put my initials after it just so I keep track of things. Friends, when you build with code blocks, we always create objects. Now, this one is going to be the entire captain's chair. There are no parts. It's going to be that simple. I'm going to just call it CC to make it quick and easy. When we move to the shapes, we are going to build it with a cone. When you bring the cone out, open its properties. It's got a base of 10, which I like. I want to make the top radius 4 and I'm going to keep the height and I'm going to make it a cooler chair color. I'm going to go with a gray as I'm going to add this to my spaceship in a bit. When you hit play, there is our cone. It's below zero. We need to fix that, of course, by moving it up. Remember, if the height is 20, then we move it up half the height, which is 10, and bam, our cone is in the correct spot. Now, I want to cut out the middle, not because I need to, just because it's kind of cool. So we can simply duplicate. Make the second one a hole. We are going to change its top radius to 2. We're going to change the bottom radius to 8, so this way it is thinner. And then we're going to change the height to 21, so it pops out the top. When we hit play, you'll see that it's right there. And later, we will group it so that it actually cuts out that awesome part of our seat. The next piece is going to be the top of the captain's chair. We're going to build that with the box. Friends, when you bring it out, you can keep all the 20s. And I want you to make the edge, too. And I want you to pick a cooler color. I'm going to make mine black. You can pick whatever color you like. I'm going to hit play, and you'll see that it draws down at the bottom. But that's a decent size for our captain's chair. We just simply need to move it. Once again, we're going to do that with the move command. Remember, this is 20 high, and we had to go above this as well. So we're going to do the 20 for this height and half of this height, which is 30, to get to the top. You could have chosen guess and check there, but if you take the time to do a little bit of math, boom, it's pretty slick as well. Friends, we're going to cut out this chair the same way. Duplicate your former cube. Change it to a hole. Let's make the inside edge zero. Now we need it to be thinner, so let's choose these numbers, 17, 17, and let's keep the 20 so that it pops up high. And then we need to raise it up higher. Instead of 30, let's go 32. And also we need to pull it towards us. So let's do negative three. When we hit play, you will see that it arrives. It is totally centered on our project. We can look at it from every angle by right click dragging or using the cool cube. And now friends, the final step is to simply cut it out by choosing create group. When you hit play, you've just made a sweet captain's chair that you can then put to work in your projects like we are going to use it in our spaceship. Friends, to wrap it up, you need to make sure your colors are the way you want. Hit play the last time. You can speed it up if you want. And then choose export and choose shape. Once you get here, give it a name. I'm going to call mine captain's chair so that I can find it later. Do not lock the park size because we're going to shrink it or grow it to fit our project and hit save shape and it'll then be available in your Tinkercad projects. Real quickly, let me show you how that happens. We will back up to Tinkercad and from the main Tinkercad interface, I want you to create a new design back to your creations and you need to have created your spaceship. But then once you've got your spaceship there, you can bring it out and you will be able to add your cool captain's chair to it in a heartbeat. So here are my captain's chairs. I've got a couple colors because I thought they were cool. I'm going to put the work plane in the flat spot and I'm going to bring out my captain's chair and just set it on the project. Now when it comes in, it takes a while. Do not get impatient or you'll drop like 14 of them on here. I've done that many a time, so I'm just waiting patiently, as should you. Now here's where I lose patience and do it one more time. Got lucky and didn't end up with a bunch, so that's good. Now to make this fit, you hold shift and you just shrink it down until it fits the way you want in your spaceship. I'm going to hit F to fit view. 
I can use the arrow keys to nudge it where I want. I'm going to do control D to add more than one. You can have as many as you want. You can adjust this however you want so it looks as cool as you want. And then I want you to fill it with characters. So I'm going to go back to creatures and characters and I'm going to find Blanky. You can search anywhere or you can find Elvis. Set them in your ship. Have fun with it see just how awesome you can make your scene when you bring any creatures in including the kids that you made and all that stuff you can use shift shrink to get them so they fit use f to zoom in and double check nudge them where you want and build your sweet spaceship project i'm going to put the work plane back down to the ground and i'm going to add one last final piece i want these all to be a little smaller so i'm going to select them all by holding shift you'll see it has three shapes I'm going to shrink them down so they're for sure in. And then, friends, I want a clear bubble on my spaceship. I'm going to put the work plane inside. I'm going to go back to basic shapes. And on basic shapes, I want the bubble. I'm going to hold down shift and stretch it till it's the size I want. Notice I'm going from a corner. And then I'm going to make it transparent and a cool color. Boom, you have just instantly made a spaceship where the people can be in it. You can have all kinds of fun now making this into a cool project with flames. Don't forget you've got scribble. I'm going to just put a chunk of scribble here and make it look a little bit like a flame. I'm going to use the fill in and you can work a lot harder to make this awesome. I'm just giving you the ideas for how to build it as you turn in something extremely sweet. Watch this trick too if you want to make it sharper. What I just did was I switched to the erase and you can erase chunks to make it look exactly how you want. Now this is not the best looking flame but check it out. When we spin it around, so I'm going to rotate this way and I'm going to go to the inside of the circle so it's 90 and then I'm going to rotate it this way. If you make it flame colors it actually looks pretty good. Once again, we'll do the shift squish to get it where we want. I'm going to make it a little thinner and just drop it into place. Control up raises it up. And bam, we have got flames. I'm going to do control D and bring one to the other side. And all of a sudden, it starts to look like an epic spaceship. Now, you don't have to stop here. You can make many of these. Notice I'm going to do control D and nudge it over so there's a small army. You can also find other amazing parts, like in your favorites, you should have the swept NASA. If you bring this out, you can rotate it around, shrink and adjust as you continue to make your project unbelievably awesome. So now I'm just gonna shift squish this and I'm gonna put these up above this piece right here. I'm gonna just nudge them into place with the arrow keys and then don't forget when you wanna raise them up, it's just control up and bam, your design just keeps getting more and more cool as you explore all the cool pieces here in the structures, the scenery, the hardware, and then all the way down into the fun shape generators as well. Don't forget when you hit all, there are pages and pages of amazing parts that you can check out and add to your sweet spaceship. Friends, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.